Hey y'all, Kate at Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles. And this is just a wee little video of uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, there's little Miss Cece the Cornish Cross. You can tell I've mowed her yard down. Just like around the rest of my fencing, I will let this get high around the edges. Because as it gets taller, I like the look of it. It really kind of secures the fence, this little chicken wire fence. And the chickens like, it gives them something interesting to dig around in other than just the dirt. And I might weed eat on the outside, but I'm not gonna weed it on the inside. But I probably won't even weed eat it, we'll see. Um, sorry if I'm moving too fast for some people. So there's Laddie. Um, the big tarp that was piled here is there. I'm gonna stuff it in the trash can. I might try to stuff it in the recycling bin, but I don't think there's room in there. And, which is sad, is that we are, I mean, we recycle anyway. We say can, that kind of stuff. We have no problem recycling. We think it's great. Our, our county, our county, our state enforces that you have to have both. But our state recycles very little of it. Yeah, anyway, whatever. They say that what, only 6% of recyclables are actually recycled. I don't know. So they're playing over here in the shade. That got mowed a little bit, but I couldn't really get any closer into that. So I'll, you know, probably do that with a weed eater or my little hand grass clippers. But yeah, there's everybody doing their thing. It's about 3.30, pushing four o'clock. I came out and added some zinnia and some soil to the planter. I may end up planting something on the bottom if I can think of something that the chickens won't eat. Thank you. Amazon guy. So they're, they're just hanging out. But the shade is creeping across the yard, as you can tell. I came out earlier, and there it was a little bit cooler. And it seemed like maybe it was going to cloud up, but today was supposed to be cooler. Uh, cloudy with showers. You see any clouds? Where's the cloud? Do you see a cloud? I don't see a cloud. Oh, I see a contrail. Does any oh okay. Oh, oh there's a cloud. There's a couple little ones off this way. Okay, I lied. So there are clouds, but I don't think they're gonna show us any action. At least not until it's the sun's down or later. And um so I use my little electric Ryobi motor and it is it works great. I had it set at two and a half. Might have been at three, but I think I had it set at, it might have been right at three. Because I didn't want to go too short. Because, you know, out there I did everything at two and a half to three. Depending on where I was in the yard. And you can see just, we need some rain. It's kind of brownie. But, if it's slow, I noticed that we got, that area back there had slowed down. That's fine with me. But look, if Paul stop hitting my maple tree, it's looking great. And, I'm trying to move slow. And look how pretty the Norwegian spruce looks when it's getting its new cones and, and, and extensions. So I'm pretty sure all those little clusters are going to be cones. I might be wrong. It could be new growth, but I believe that's supposed to be cones. I'll have to look it up. You know, you don't get a lot of... I've not seen a lot of Norwegian spruce here. It took me a while to figure out what kind of tree it was. But yeah, it's a big Norwegian spruce. So, Miss Sweeney Girl... So, like I said, when I was mowing, I picked up all the sticks and cones, but she was back under there. And, I mean, though I wasn't getting near any of this, I didn't want something to fly out or I miss a stick. And I didn't want her to freak out and come this direction. Um, and she was laying down where I pulled out some of the tarp. So, it was kind of a damp, buggy area. I picked her up. She had a really poly crawling on her. You're supposed to eat them, sister. But she was pretty easy to catch. This time when I caught her, I held her close to me and cooed and I could feel her physically relax. Um, but I just refreshed her water. I've been reading up some on Cornish Crosses and you know, they do have the habit of eating a lot, but they have a habit of drinking a lot. So apparently they will dirty up a, their area sometimes faster 
than a regular chicken if you have them confined or like just in a chicken tractor because they do eat and drink so much now of course she's nibbled a few bugs and i haven't put her out on the short grass i will in the morning when it's cooler or maybe this evening i threw some i cleaned her coop threw some extra of the rose scented uh pink bedding in there because it's really soft and fluffy and that's she likes to sit in that corner i lowered this side so that her water's in shade but i her water or yesterday this morning when i came out she was almost empty and i was like i filled that last night well it turned out right there kind of where the base the top screws into the base there was a crack so i think a lot of it was leaking so i thought but i filled her water up again this morning at 6 15 when i set her down outside or whenever it was i did my video maybe it was 10 and i just had to refill it it was just down to um dregs and that was a i could hear that one that was an icky squirty poo but like i said I do drink a lot um I'm Paul and I have decided we are going to make her a little coop underneath if she survives but she hasn't been here a week yet two more days will be a week once she has been here at least a couple and I you know I'm going to I have decided I'm going to bring the rabbit it looks like the big looks like this big dog kennel but it's for rabbits it's the top to that uh, waiting pool for the chicken it does have wire across the bottom but it uh it uh it does not rest upon that tray well so that's why i use the tray for a chicken pool so this is kind of pulled out because i pulled, tried to get it out the other day but i am going to uh rig went to that straw out at least what's on the pallet and uh i'm going to that coop will fit down in there i might have to like take it apart and reassemble it underneath there but I told Paul what I had planned on, and he said it was a good, you know, he, he thought it was a good idea, and nothing. Ew, grossness. Look at this knot in this tree. Yeah. It's, also, it's, it's half knot and half coagulated sap. Norwegian, this is all Norwegian spruce sap. Look at it. There's a really wet spot. Look at that. Ew. So, anyway. Squirrel. Squirrel distracted. So I'm going to wrap it in chicken wire and um, I'm going to cut a piece of that and I'll attach that over the top as a tarp. I'll attach it in a couple places so that it can't blow up or or uh, whatever. Um, corners cross are too heavy, legs are too short, they don't roost well. So I won't have to worry about putting a roosting bar in there but like I've said, the, um, I'm going to have the little door open over here so that she can I want her to be able to come in and out by herself. She she is not going to be able, even if, I, like I said in my other video, even if I change this, it's going to take up too much room, and that's still, I just don't think she's going to be able to climb up there. I'm going to try to keep her weight from ballooning. ballooning. I'm going to regulate her feed, and uh, once she's down and out and about, I'm hoping she'll be free-ranging more. But I'm going to give her a certain amount of feed a day, measure out a certain amount, or maybe twice a day, I think it's like a quarter cup. And then she can forage for the rest. She's gonna have plenty of bugs and ants and stuff around here. But, so I'm gonna open, maybe that can also opens there. So if it's a rainy day or whatever, I can just step under there, under that, that wing wall and tend to her and check her. And she can come out and about. So if it's a bad day, she could still get out of her little, her little uh, mini coop and come out here and wander around bad weather or she can just come out and stay here where she'll be you know out of the weather stay underneath there but that will protect her from the weather and it's low enough just that four inches I can make her a little short wide ramp with really good these just need to be tightened up <laughs> but you know my chickens usually don't always walk up but they tend to fly so if I dial it oh there it's tighter but anyway but all made from recycled scrap pallets and wood. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Of course, I will make it the tarp that's her roof. I'll make it a big enough size. I'm trying to make it out of this vinyl. If not, I'll just buy a specialty tarp. But I'm going to make it so that in 
we're having hurricane blowing inclement weather or when it gets to winter time, I can pull those sides down, attach it to the bottom. There'll be no airflow, no weather, nothing can get in there. And then by putting it under here, when it gets to fall or winter time, I'll easily be able to hook up that little heater in there for her at winter if she needs. And I'm holding out, maybe flower hatch some of those babies. I don't know what kind of a mom she'll be, but it's hot summer, worst case scenario. I can bring them out here or best case scenario. If she hatches any, they will end up coming and living in this yard and run until they're big enough to go to the main flock. But that will give her company and minions. She's going to go to sleep now. Did you go to sleep? Got a little eyes closed. But uh, and she was napping over here, so she eats and drinks and naps. That's why I'm gonna. I want to wait a couple of weeks before I go to the hassle of putting this little coop under there. But then again, if I get chicks, I'll need it anyway. But I'm not gonna come out in the heat and do that until I know she is going to make it. And you know, I've had one last a week, week and a half, and they just die of these corners cross rescues that Paul's picked up beside the road. So she's doing good and I'm not over handling her because I'm sure she's, I just imagine she's got to be bruised and sore, but I have picked her up gently and held her close, you know, and secure, but there's Miss Cece. To me, it looks like her comb and waddle are reddening up a bit. She's getting some iron, a little bit of extra iron. So hopefully that'll help. Okay, I'm gonna stop staring at the chicken because she's not gonna do anything different. But this is the electric mower. I wanted a small mower. I just figured a gas mower because I gotta buy gas for the big mower. That Paul, I told him to check and see if Ryobi made one that took the batteries. I mean, I've got a bunch of those 18 volt batteries. I could charge two of the big ones up and if I could pop two in there, it would probably do what I need it to do, but they don't make it with the batteries. But I have super, super long extension cords and it's fine. It was easy to put together. I had to go buy these because it's just the ones that come with it are big plastic wing nut thingies. But I just went and got what they had at the hardware store because Paula unpacked this so I could see it. Not that I want, just to show me. And then it sat in the living room. Then he had a stroke. And then finally we brought it outside. But he doesn't know what he did with the little baggie that had parts in it. So. It does come with this little tool here, which mulches. I had thought that he had just laid it somewhere too, but apparently it was still in there. So it was mulching the grass. So I took that off and then went back over everything I mowed and sucked up all the clippings. And as I said, I would, the clippings have been tossed over there. You can see the green and they've already gone through that pile. Yeah. Chickens love grass clippings, love them. So I noticed out the window earlier, uh, Luna and the Brahma sisters have been hanging out under the chairs in the shade. At first I thought, well, maybe they're just getting out of the sun, but no, I think it keeps Cosmo getting that close to him. I don't know, probably. There's a boy coming, hide under the chair. And Zin Zin's out there in the yard. She's headed over to see what they're up to. What, you hear me say your name? He's like, what, you say my name? Little Miss Lily's over here messing with grass and stuff. So, anywho, there we go. That's the last of this Wednesday. I'm sure, I'll, hopefully, it'll get cloudy or cooler and I'll get the fence up around the garden. If not, I'll do it in the morning when it's cool. And uh, get that garden all in. Hey, ladies. Yeah, a little sewing circle going on over there. Mm -hmm. She's like, he's not going to get me up here either. All right, you guys. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, it can help me grow. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go out on just watching some birds. Let's the cat was in there, but he 
has his favorite drinking bowl right there. He's drinking out of the water I leave out for barrels and the chickens, they go by there and drink out of it too. The bad thing about sharing a water bowl with chickens is that they are backwashers. Laddie's standing out there watching with flower. Cosmo's on the other side of the fence. Look at these lovely girls. It's the Easter egg on top, Zin Zin, short for Zinnia. The second, the younger group of chickens all had flower names. The first group had all Celtic names. That must be just a really good spot to flop down. I noticed both of them kind of flopped down and got their wings open. Mm. Some wind under those feathers, huh? She's airing out. She's taking an air bath. Zin -zin's, oh, please don't poop on anybody. All right. You guys have a great evening.